Hi, I am Yarika and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade tomato soup. It's so easy and delicious. For the start, we're going to need the red tomato on the vine. Also, we're going to need the red onion and the garlic. Why I'm using red onion? Because it's sweeter than the white onion. Come now. On a medium heat, I add here the red onion with a little bit of olive oil until the onion becomes soft and translucent as you can see here At the, uh, to do this point what I do is I'm gonna add the garlic I will see for one minute only okay after that ta -da -da, our lovely tomatoes is gonna be together with garlic and the onion. I'm gonna stir a little bit. So. Here we have our spices. So for this rest I'm gonna use paprika, a little bit of chili flakes, sugar and pepper cayenne. One teaspoon of each spice together with the sugar and the chili flakes okay you can add more and adjust the flavors as you wish and here i have tomato puree tomato paste lovely mixture together here i prepare my lovely chicken stock you can make chicken stock or you can make beef stock or also vegetable stock for this recipe as you wish and here I'm gonna add and as I'm adding I'm stirring a little bit so I'm adding more and stir after all the spice I'm gonna finish the soup with a lovely salt and pepper Remember, you can adjust as you wish. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, okay? And I'll leave it for 40 minutes until the tomatoes become soft and release their juice. And I leave it for simmer. Ta -da -da! Wow! Look at this. After 40 minutes, you can see how lovely. It's our beautiful tomato soup. Smells so nice. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take a stick hand blender. I'm gonna switch off the oven and put it to the side. I'm gonna blend this mixture until it's nice and smooth. Now that our soup it's nice and smooth, you can try and see if you need to add more salt and pepper or sugar in case uh, you don't have a sweet tomato. But my one is just perfect, I don't need to add any sugar or pepper or anything like that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the basil. I finally Shop the basil. Also have here fresh cream. I'm gonna add those fresh cream. I have the option. Oh, I can use the stick hand blender to mix up, or I can mix it using a spoon. I put it in a low heat, medium for 25 minutes, because I want to get a nice texture of my soup and I want the flavors to intensify so I'm gonna leave to simmer for 25 minutes cover the lid and let's see after 25 minutes wow so nice huh so now our soup is done I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl to display nicely, I'm using here fresh cream, 
to decorate the top also I still have some basil leaves and I put it here and how it looks good ah then I have another secret okay this is done but because I like to give a good impression on my dishes what I'm gonna do is transfer it to the bowl again another soup and I'm gonna decorate with something that is special <laughs> I learned this and I think it's really good okay so I find here some sunflower seeds okay for two minutes I add here okay that's good I also I have here some sun-dried tomatoes I finally chop them I'm gonna add them um, a lovely parmesan cheese I also added them just a little bit of olive oil okay and now blend all together to become kind of a pasta I just put this mixture here on the top you see mm. That's look nice. I add some basil leaf. It's perfect. Some cream. Wow. Okay, these are the two ways you can serve your beautiful tomato soup, homemade tomato soup. So you have here homemade tomato soup so easy simple and delicious <laughs> don't forget to like if you like and subscribe also and meanwhile enjoy have fun and see you next time